unscheduled live stream. Is the sound doing okay? I think the sound's doing okay. Nice, nice. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to our second live stream for today. Uh, we just did an um, Entheogen live stream about three hours ago. We finished it off around three hours ago. And for those of you that will be watching this video on YouTube, just to let you know, I'm not uploading any more of the Entheogen live streams, open discussions that we are having on Twitch to YouTube anymore. I loaded the first one up on YouTube and the algorithm sort of tagged us and demoted us and whatnot, because uh, I guess the discussion is uh, does not want to be uh, YouTube's algorithm, don't, doesn't want it to be distributed far and wide. And we've done two more since then well three more since then as of today and the all three of them are available on BitChute. and by the time you end up watching this comic book haul video well the odds are i probably won't get it up on BitChute uh right away so it might be being loaded on BitChute later or it might be there already by the time you watch this on uh youtube uh, so if you want to get the full experience of what it is that we are uploading we are doing the content um, i definitely link everything up through patreon through twitter uh, gab mines vk parlor on our discord page and whatnot um, but all the content is going to be available on BitChute and selective content most of the content available on youtube just want to give you guys a heads up comic book haul comic book haul i got it yesterday and I was waiting until today to crack it open. A chicken breast. The box is a chicken breast box. Seasoned boneless skinless chicken breast. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? What a box to send comic books in, right? But this is our comic book haul. Okay, I got it yesterday and it's a it's a nice comic book haul. It's on the down low, it's cheap. Um I got a couple more comic book hauls coming as well. Birdie here, how are you doing? Uh, I got a couple more comic book hauls coming as well. Um, but this one I was really excited about because it's got, it's basically all graphic novels, right? And I got them really down on the, on the cheap. I'll let you guys know what the price is and what we ended up getting. I just give her one time for people to come up. Crack, how are you doing? Good afternoon. I oh, just got a small stack of comics today as well. Me too, me too. I picked up, dude, crack. Yo, let's go, Void. How are you doing? Great. Lasagna. Howdy, howdy. Adrian Lee. Hello, hello. I've never seen your name before. I don't think so. Anyway, welcome to our live stream. By the way, Crack, you went to the comic book store today, I'm assuming, right? Did you see the 1 in 25 cover for uh, the conspiracy comic book that's coming out? I bought it. I rarely ever buy one in 10, one in 25, one in 20, one in 50 covers. Uh, Department of Truth. The one in 25 cover is insane. It's crazy. I followed yesterday, but just wanted to listen. Awesome, Adrian. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to another live stream. I hope you like comic books. Jaded Mask, how are you doing? Thank you for the tier one sub. I did not see that. Let me find it for you. Dude, I'm going to find it for you. For those of you in chat, um, it's 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 uh, uh, what's it called again? Uh, um, I have it here, but I don't want to show it because it's it's heavy. Department of Truth, Department of Truth, the Department of Truth, number two, one in twenty-five. Let's see if it finds it. Images. Okay. Oh, dude, I'm going to link this up for you. I bought this like it's an eBay listing. I just cra grabbed the first one. Let me see if I can find uh, bah, bah, bah. it's all image comics. The point of the truth. Let's see if they have the one in 25 here. No, they don't have the one in 25. OK, I'm going to link you up to. Let's see what this one is. Here it is. 
I don't know. And these guys are selling it. This is a, by the way, I'm not promoting these guys for you guys to buy this comic book or anything like this. Okay. I picked up Lobo, the last Zarnian a few weeks ago. Birdie here. I remember you discussed it on a haul a few years ago for sure. That is one of my favorite mini comic book uh, series ever. That's the comic book series. It's four issues. I've read the most in my life. I hope you like it, Birdie here. I hope you like it. The shop I went to is very small. Not a lot of new comics there. Okay, here, are, here are they packaged. How are they packaged? Uh, these guys, I don't know. I haven't cracked it open yet. We're gonna crack it open. Hey, Chicho, Manslayer, Rudy, how are you doing, Elder God? Check out the cover. I'm gonna send you. Okay, I don't like this website. Dude, I just want the Department of Truth. I just want an image, not a website where they're saying buy it. I just want an image. I just want an image. Come on, come on, give me an image. Department of Truth. Let's see if it's going to pop up. Come on, 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 come on. No, it doesn't have it. Okay, I'm going to link you up to an eBay page. Don't don't buy this, gang. Uh, here's another site out of stock okay they're out of stock I'm gonna send you a place where it says it's out of stock okay and these guys were selling it to for 24 99 um, I picked it up for 30 Canadian which is basically $20 US okay and I don't do this I rarely ever buy alternate covers take a look at this thing crack it open that's the cover I bought today. I'm not going to show you because it's not part of this. Okay. Now, should we do the comic book haul? How long have you been live? Have we given everybody enough time to up time to drop in? We've been live for six minutes, seven minutes. <laughs> should we crack it open, gang? <laughs> should we crack it open? Should we crack it open? Should we crack open a comic book? Be right back okay crack i'm gonna i'm gonna wait until crack comes back gosh that's amazing art it's a beautiful and man so relevant to what is happening in our society today but that's politics we're gonna keep politics on a different realm so i i again i saw this online and i went to the after the live stream the entheogen live stream we did today this morning i hopped it over to the comic book store went to the owner i said listen do you have the one in 25 for Department of Truth, uh, number two. He goes, yeah, yeah, I got one, still one up there. So he showed it to me, bow, grabbed it. God, that cover is brutal. Gina, brutal. There is, literally, gang, there is more truth in comic books, okay, than any mainstream corporate propaganda news networks you will ever watch, okay? Are you snacking or drinking? Void, no snacking, no drinking. Comic book halls, I didn't even bring water here. <laughs> no water, no snacks. <laughs> wow, that cover, birdie here. Hello from me. Hello, new fat, new fit. Wow, that's a hell of a cover. That's a hell of a cover crack. Gang, should we crack this open? Let me tell you what this package, how much this package cost, okay? This package, this comic book haul, came out to $66 Canadian. Okay, so $66. It came out to $40. The comic books were $40 Canadian, which is around $30 US. And shipping came out to $26 Canadian, which is $20 US. So total, including shipping for this haul, was $50 US. It's basically all graphic novels. There's one graphic novel that I ended up paying uh, 10 50 Canadian for, which is around $8 US. All the other ones were $2 Canadian, which is $1.50 US. Okay, great deal, great deal. So let's cr crank this baby open, show you what I got. I'm going to send the cover everywhere. Elder God, they only had one in the comic book store, right? If they had three, I would have cut back on some of the other things I bought. I would have, I would have bought all three. I think that cover, just like the cover of Black Number Two. Do you guys remember? I showed you guys the cover of Black Number Two from um, 
uh, Black Mask Studios with the strange fruit cover, right? With the lynching cover. I, th I said that was an amazing cover, right? Uh, politically amazing for our times, right? So let's crack this baby open. Um, I got my fingers crossed. This guy shipped them okay. It's not a, it's not on Google. It's not on Google. I'm I'm searching DuckDuckGo. I don't. I barely search use Google search anymore. Okay, let's check it out. I got my bloodshot box cutter. <laughs> I brought it out again. Bloodshot box cutter. Let's see if this thing does a good job on it. Strange Fruit, the ish four issue miniseries. I think it was a five issue miniseries. No, 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 no not Strange Fruit, not that one. That was written by Blackbird, uh, the person who recently passed, passed away. That was a fantastic run with some incredible art. I heard about that actually. I didn't pick it up. I picked up the first issue actually, but I didn't pick up the rest. The Strange Fruit cover is a comic book called black from black mass studios let me find you that as well because that's an incredibly beautiful cover um black number two black mask studios let me find you that cover and by the way if uh, if you guys recall i bought extra copies of this right and i bought extra copies of the whole series i thought it was brilliant series very important very political very important for our times and at the time i was buying these things they were going for cover price they were cheap right so i bought them cheap i got them comic book haul and stuff like this right right now this series from what i understand it's been optioned and uh, those comics are going pretty for a pretty hefty price check out that cover for black mass studios black number two it's a comic book series that's that's based on only something happens in the world where only blacks now have superpowers or certain black people have superpowers i thought it was a important comic book series okay we gotta open this baby up but the department of truth one in 25 that cover is insanely good Okay, let's check it out. Let's check it out. <laughs> this this comic book haul was an amazing price. Amazing price, gang. Really. Oh yeah, I remember that series. That's a cover I remember. Never read it though. We'll have to check it out. Uh, crack. Um, the original comics they're going for a hefty price, man. Uh, so and I think they put out a trade paperback of it. Oh, I might. I don't have that one, but I have uh, another one they put out. Just this cover makes me want to read it. Yeah, great lasagna. I bought. I, I bought one person. Um, I think I bought like I, I bought f five or six copies of that cover, and I bought that the whole run, um, one to five. Straight back, it, it is then. Yeah, I bought one to five for like ten dollars. Right now, number one, I think, is selling for forty. Number two, is selling for twenty, thirty. I don't know what they're selling for. Now. <laughs> All back and forth. Here, let me show you the reason I got this comic book haul, and then we'll go through the the trade paper. But, oh, these are beautiful condition. Snap, crackle, pop. Look at this. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got to show you this. I bring death. What's up, Chicho? Just eating some dinner. Nice. Enjoy your dinner. Oh, my God. Look at, the, look at this haul. Look at this haul. What a fantastic haul. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Let me show you why... I bought these comics and what I bought from this person first 
because <laughs> awesome just gotta make sure this thing doesn't fall over just gotta make sure this thing doesn't fall over check this out check this out check this out right so this is a seller and he i don't know this person what's his feedback his feed up feedback is like 600 something right and the guy has lots of mad magazines stuff like this and he had this listed right he had shock suspense uh stories hardcover from 2016 from ec ec archive volume number one i ended up picking this baby up for 1050 canadian brand new it's already in the bag right so it's mint condition right it better be mint i think it's mint anyway i'm gonna crack this open right <laughs> so this was eight dollars canadian right and the shipping was coming out to like ten dollars or fifteen dollars and he had a whole bunch of graphic novels as well so i you know i like combining shipping fantastic look at this he had a whole bunch of graphic novels listed and i was like okay you know what if i'm gonna buy might as well combine the shipping and the graphic novels he'd listed were for two dollars canadian he's in canada right so i bought as many as i could for two dollars right awesome this is from dark horse they put it out right so reprint and wally wood check this out wally wood cover on this right so eight dollars us a phenomenal price this thing was selling <laughs> i'll show this to you this thing cover price cover price 50 dollars us 64 dollars canadian right so uh, this thing wasn't two dollars this thing was 1050 canadian <laughs> right look at this beautiful i have i have a couple of these two or three maybe four of these things right and uh and i didn't have this one so snap crackle pop we grab it right yeah like this shock suspense stories number one volume one number one we got this gang we're gonna do comic book readings in two days should we read one of the stories from here i'm gonna go i still haven't gone through my comic book boxes to see what i'm gonna pull out to read uh, this might be a little bit heavy for me to hold up actually fantastic very happy to have this very happy to have this what an amazing price and what an amazing story take a look at this the monsters the monsters still that's a hell of a deal crack that's a hell of a deal hell of a deal ah awesome awesome and the person wasn't uh fantastic look at this so which issues is this this is this is these six issues dark horse brings you a shocking tales of suspense this beautifully bound hardcover reprint uh reprints the first six complete issues of the pulp comic classic shock suspense stories featuring the titanic artist artistic talents of jack cayman jack davis joe orlando graham ingles and wally wood with a foreword by steven um, spielberg <laughs> forward by steven spielberg what the hell awesome very happy to have this fantastic and it's brand spanking new right nice so i bought this and i'm like okay the guy's got graphic novels and i love having random graphic novels as you can tell right i just like you know if i'm going on a trip if i'm going to the beach i just grab a random graphic novel and i've read all of these i, I don't think there's a graphic novel here that i haven't read okay and i was running low on graphic novels to read so everything else here Two dollars Canadian each, dollar fifty US. Okay, so <laughs> Avengers, the initiative, 
this is i believe volume one volume two disassemble i don't know hardcover hardcover right should we crack it open and he bagged and boarded stuff he's got bags and boards on the other graphic novels i was actually happy to get some of the other graphic novels right so this one is pretty good shape fantastic right it doesn't have the dust jacket on it avengers initiative disassembled right? and who are the so this is uh Issue number 20, written by Dan Slott and Chris uh, Thomas Cage. Pencils by Steve uh, Kurth. Issue number 21 to 25, written by Chris Christos Cage. Gage. Cool. I only had hardcovers. I, th I thought you had none. I felt like a noob. <laughs> it's great to hear there are still amazing deals to be found out there on eBay a crack there are amazing deals to be found really and I'm happy to have this oh there's a taskmaster cool nice artwork take a look nice artwork okay so this is one dollar fifty like like thank you very much and I'm not gonna put it in a bag it's just gonna I need to build more bookshelves by the way i'm running out of bookshelves i have more books and boxes that i haven't put out yet that i need to put out let me show you these guys <clears throat> nice 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 life and death hold on let me put these in order um oh come on which one is the first this is okay hold on okay i'm going to show you all three here's predator life and death all right predator life and death graphic novel okay fantastic i'm going to crack these open because i'm not going to leave the graphic novels and bags and boards i want to read these right i just spent the last two days thinning out the collection a little ready to do a trade trade with a guy here in town awesome so fantastic dan abbott brian albert thies right nice here's some of the artwork and this hasn't been read like i can't even crack it open right awesome oh this is part one it's in the back right so this is part one of life and death story arc right Boop. part one okay. so dollar 50 us you can't beat that macro panacea one two three hey chicho and chat hope you're uh, doing well i won't be uh, conversing as i i have an assignment to uh, to complete but I'll be using this as background ASMR for sure. Awesome. I hope you enjoy and good luck with the assignment. I hope uh, it goes well. Well, hello again, stranger. Hello, Coolio. How are you doing? And I ended up getting, being able to get all four, uh, get three out of the four parts. So I need to get uh, one of the other parts now. put these guys here the tapes get rid of the tapes spencer man so here's part three aliens this is uh that one is different this one is uh life and death part three okay when i was buying these i looked into the what do you call it the order that you're supposed to read them and i'm missing part two and this was written by dan abbott and art by Moriat. Okay. Sweating after a quick workout. Nice. Good stuff, Coolio. So that's great. Listening to this while doing my university dissertation hopefully helps me de stress myself while I'm doing it. Awesome. Love that cover. Yeah. This one. 
Check it out. I should show you guys the cover even more. Aliens. I love the Predator cover. Fantastic. Very nice. Yeah. Just Aliens comics is... The whole mythos is fantastic. Here's another one. This is Aliens vs. Predator. Aliens vs. Predator, Fire and Stone. This was part three. I don't have any, any of the other parts on this one. Okay. Fire and Stone, part three. Here's the cover. Doop. All right. Beautiful painted cover. Awesome. Look at that. Apologies about the glare, but it is what it is. Right. So these are fantastic shape. I want another 100 push-ups. <laughs> All the gods says to Coolio. <laughs> Nifiat. Nif Nifit. I don't know how to pronounce that. There were even computer games based on the setting of Aliens vs. Predator. Yeah, for sure. It's a huge franchise. Look at this one. Awesome. And Aliens vs. Predator movies. I've seen all of them. All the Aliens, all the all the Predator, all the pre Aliens vs. Predator. So I love that stuff. This is part four. So I'm missing part three of the Aliens vs. Predator graphic novels. Right? Doop. Come on. Focus. It's not focusing, but it is part four. And here's the cover. Alien vs. Predator. Pr Prometheus Final Conflict. Right. Awesome. It's about time another Aliens or Predator or Aliens vs. Predator movie came out. Right. I didn't like the Prometheus uh, Alien uh, movie that came out. It wasn't that good. It was very it wasn't as good as the rest. Right, that's the back cover. Nice. Cool, he was like, how about a high five? Check out this one. Young Justice. <laughs> Why not? Why not? The Young Justice animation and stuff was pretty good. And I don't have I don't have any of these, by the way. So I thought it was uh, it'd be a fun read. Just a light read. All right. And this is by who's it by? Uh Balthazar Franco Jones and Davis. Is that Alan Davis? Cool. All right? Yeah. Yikes. Probably what Epstein's soul looks like. <laughs> Young Justice. This one was Young Justice Fears. Okay, and the back cover. Let me show you the back cover. Nice, cool. Okay. Then we got Young Justice by hook or by web. Oh, is that comic based on the TV show? I don't know if it's based on the TV show. The TV show is based on the Young Justice comics, right? And this one, again, is by Balthazar Franco and Norton this time. Should we take a look at some of the artwork? Oh, my God. It says Hook. Yep. Check it out. And there's the Hook guy. I don't know this character, Hook. I don't think I've read a Young Justice or uh, comic for a long, long time. Pretty, sh it's pretty small graphic novel, hardcover. Right? Like, look at the, the. There isn't that much there. How much were we selling this for? I don't know. It's got a sticky on, sticker on it, price sticker. And let's take a look at the artwork. The show is really good and was supposed to be renewed for a third season after an online petition, but I haven't heard uh, what happened to that. Ah, that's too bad. It says Young Justice number four, so this might be part four. 
don't know what the other part is. Right? The the DC comic book series are not bad. Well, not all of them. Some of them are pretty bad, actually. I don't know why they would take such a short read and put it in a, what do you call it? Hardcover. What's this one? Let's, let's see that one. This wasn't one number four. Hey, Chicho, have you read the 1994 comic uh, Starman? I've read some of it. Yeah, fantastic, Punisher Max. Fantastic. I don't remember too much of it. All I know it was mature. It was heavy. It was, it was brilliant. Very nice sci-fi. Right. Dang. Two streams today. Two streams today, Max. And this is again is very little. And what part would this one be? Oh, this one says part six. So I'm missing part one, two, three, five. Oh well. Such a short story for hardcover. I don't know why they would they would do that. Check this out. Chicho probably visited another dimension between the Entheogen stream and this one. <laughs> no, I didn't. Well, if you consider a comic book store another dimension, yes. I did go to a comic book store. Star Wars Vector Volume 2. Awesome. Kenny Roberts, how are you doing? Gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Apologies if I'm not catching them. I'm sort of immersed in this thing. I love these hauls. Uh, they blow me away. I love comic books, as you know. Ooh, look at this. Who's this? I don't know who this is. Look at the back cover. Boy, Chicho the Creator. Nice back cover. Look at that. Beautiful. Why wouldn't they? Rebellion Volume 4, Legacy Volume 6, and this is Volume 2. So check this out. I guess this is story arc continuing from a different couple of different things. So Legacy Volume 6, Rebellion Volume 4, and it's actually Volume 2, Vector, Star Wars. Gravi gravi gravity of the, the situation, Chicho, have... How 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 you been? Been doing good. Been a while since I caught a stream. Hopefully that saint guy on YouTube has stopped trolling you. Oh yeah, that guy. I don't know what the hell was up with that guy. Once I started uploading Julian Assange streams, I got some troll and some some people, you know, hanging around and spreading some hate, right? Are they disinformation? Are they agents of a centralized state? I don't know who they are. But I let the guy spread, you know, say his crap. But as soon as the guy started harassing some of the other users, I told the guy, I'll go, you, you, you troll anymore, you will be banned from my channel. Okay. Because I'm not cool with, uh, if people pick on me, I don't care, really, as long as they're not being derogatory and crap like that. But once he started attacking other people or feeding off their comments i told the guy you do that again you are banned yeah i, I don't know what his deal was actually I, I read some of his previous comments it was like it started off as soon as i started uploading julian assange stuff so this looks great by the way dollar 50 us right oh i missed an enthusiast yeah uh so crafty so so we did a fantastic entheogen stream nice cover by the way and that entheogen stream is not going to be on youtube it will go on bitshoot only bitshoot exclusive and the audio will be on soundcloud okay gang hard covers usually cost much more to uh, master uh, produce yeah they do this one i'm crazy happy about I'm, this one only cost me two dollars that is insane. Let me just make sure this one only cost me two dollars. This one only cost me two dollars, Canadian gang. Wow, wow, wow. We're talking manga. We're talking thick. We're talking can't can't wait to dive into it. 
<laughs> Amen, brother. Coolio says, free Assange. I remember that guy. Yeah, elder God. They say you they say you famous once you get haters. Haha, <laughs> void. Yeah, CIA plan. Who knows? Who knows? Right? My wallet still uh, lives in the 90s. Check this out. That's what you call a comic book. That's what you call a story arc. Right? And this is Infinite Kung Fu IDW Publishing. Right? Fantastic. Look at this thing. And it's in grape shape. Like it's it's not mint mint, but pretty damn good. Like look at this. I don't think it's even been read. Maybe it's been read once. I doubt it. Nice. Kapow. <laughs> nice one, Chicho. I have flipped through that. Looks great. Yeah, it looked amazing. Like look at this. Oh snap. Look at the artwork here, man look at this look at this look at this let me make sure you guys see this look at that look at that beautiful beautiful right beautiful beautiful i collect vhs tapes and i'm lucky because the price on such tapes hasn't uh hasn't skyrocketed yet but people are definitely getting into it more and more as the years go by really vhs tape, tapes i have some coolio added block infinite kung fu that is a lot of kung fu <laughs> that's a lot of kung fu catholic traditionalist also oh look at this this guy looks like look at this this guy looks like uh what do you call it uh Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, when Bruce Lee was fighting Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in uh, Game of Death, right? That totally looks like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Why is he checking Bruce Lee's mouth for? <laughs> Loving the artwork, serious, man. Wow, wow. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> I'm gonna read this one first. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Boom. Right? Beautiful. This is by Kagan McLeod. McLeod. Kagan McLeod. So very happy to have this very nice very nice awesome yeah this thing's been read for sure take a look dollar 50 us nice very nice let me show you this <laughs> i bought this for two bucks just because it was there the guys were going to ship it to me right uh coolio uh, Elder God, VHS steps have value? I have a lot of them. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> Coolio, you can tell it's good when Chicho makes his excitement noises. Ah, funny. Kathy just said, of the clan McLeod, of the clan McLeod maybe. Blu-ray only. So good, so good. Star Wars origami book. It was just there. The guy had it. I was ordering a whole bunch of stuff. Why not? Two dollars, dollar fifty Canadian, or dollar fifty US. Two dollars Canadian. Star Wars origami book. Are these all loose? It's instructions. Take a look. Is there any loose ones? I guess it's instructions. They provide the paper. I don't know if they provide the paper. I don't know what the well it's a Star Wars origami book. We have uh family friends that love Star Wars, the kid loves Star Wars. So I figure why not? Right? Oh look at this. You can make those those guys, right? <laughs> Some more origami stream coolio says. <laughs> origami stream coming <laughs> I've never done origami. 
I used to make little boats, paper boats. Nice. Did they provide the paper? What's going on? How come there's a little bit of paper in there? Oh, I guess these are the papers. Oh, yeah, look, these are the papers. These ones are attached. The other one wasn't. So the papers are, are in the back. Oh, look at this. That's cool. Oh, so each one has a paper in the back, right? So you end up using these ones to fold and the design comes out. So they didn't put in within, All right? Here's one and then they provide you extras, All right? Cool. This would be fun. Glad to have. And here's a back cover. <laughs> okay. And I got some uh, comic books as well. It's not all graphic novels. Well, this one's a graphic novel too. There's a couple of treasury edition comic books here as well. Okay. Search uh, Southwest VHS on Instagram. Wow. Uh, crack. My opa used to do small origami stars as Christmas. Oh, your opa is gra uh, grandmother. Are you Ukrainian, crack? I believe a Ukrainian you call grandmother Opa, no? Uh, Stars at Christmas, which was impressive because he had, oh, so grandfather maybe, he had the biggest working hands I have ever seen. Cool, cool. Grandpa, German. Ah, German. Okay, okay. Cool. I think an ASMR origami stream would be excellent. I love the sound of paper folding, Gina says. <laughs> I've never done. <laughs> I showed a group of cup scouts how to make uh, boats and pirates pirate hats with newspapers i want to make sure that uh, little skills from my youth did not become a lost art awesome kathy i used to make those paper hats and little boats right i don't know how to make the little boat anymore it's almost the same as the hat by the way elder god don't go anywhere i got something here you might appreciate uh, not elder god sorry catholic traditionalist i have something here you might appreciate okay and elder god you'll anyone from the uk you will appreciate this opa grandpa oma grandma oma grandma that's right oma grandma and oma for grandma cool 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 chicho we need a cigar stream brother a cig i see dude i gotta get back into smoking cigars i can't afford to smoke cuban cigars right now so i'm not judge dread <laughs> UK baby judge dread awesome awesome it's got these three in there I guess okay. like a smoking uh, stream yeah it, it is in the works I do plan on doing it at some point oh, okay have you found all these comics online Chicho yeah I bought them everything you're seeing right now I bought them for a dollar fifty US each uh, two dollars Canadian so this is by Chronicles Titan Books, The Chronicles of Judge Dredd, right? Uh, by John Wagner, Mike McMahon, and Ron Smith. Awesome. Judge Dredd rocks, right? Nice. Nemesis, The Warlock is such a good series, is it? Oh, wow. What a classic that. That's crazy. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> look at this beautiful like serious man look at that phenomenal right very happy to have this very happy to have this maybe i'll read this one first any manga in there yeah i got one manga i'll show you the manga again i got a kick-ass manga huge manga look at this splash page right so this uh nemesis available now oh no these are these don't have it so this is uh book one of judge dread okay these ones aren't in there so this one's fantastic you say crack you're right wow great finds all from the same online store all from the same online person okay all from the same online person phenomenal artwork phenomenal artwork indeed indeed <laughs> nice <laughs> Yeah, here's the manga. I showed it earlier, but I'll show it again since I'm assuming the person I forget who asked, but I got this infinite kung fu. 
Look at that baby. Infinite Kung Fu. Right? It's killer. I think you would really dig it. Oh, really? Okay, Nemesis. I got to keep my eye on it. So this is the manga. Judge Dredd versus Robocop. Who would win? Uh, who would win? Who would win? Judge Dredd versus Robocop. Uh, Judge Dredd would win, I think. If that drops on your foot, goodbye foot, goodbye foot. Those drawings are incredible. Check this out. I was happy to get this. This one, it, I couldn't even find it on eBay other than this person selling it. It's got a little bit of, you know, it's not in mint condition. I would give this one probably an eight condition. This is IDW, the red star. It's like a treasury edition. I don't know this. Right. This came out in... I forget when it came out. It's come on in the last 10 years or so. Wow, beautiful. Whoa. What is this? Look at that. All right. I haven't read this and I don't know Red Star. I, I do buy, uh, what do you call it? IDW Comics. So it looks like a Russian story with Russian agents and soldiers and stuff like this. Right. So pretty cool. I'm very happy to have this. Are these all from eBay? They're all from eBay, Kavas, from the one seller. The whole thing ended up costing me like $50 US. Everything, including shipping. Right, so it was a great buy. Great buy. Check this out treasury edition. I'm gonna ask you guys a question What is the what is the uh book that has sold the most copies in the world? What book is it that has sold the most number of copies in the world? You get one guess because you should know it the Bible. Art of War, the Bible. <laughs> Art of War. That was good. It's almost the same thing, right? <laughs> Before the Bible. Right? The Bible. Dictionary. Oh, possibly. But I think it's the Bible, actually. Elder God. The Bible. Limited edition Bible. <laughs> Limited edition Bible. The most spectacular stories ever told from the Bible. Treasury edition, right? Big ass comic. And so it's a gatefold cover, right? There's your Moses alternate timeline Bible. <laughs> Come on, guitar. <laughs> Hilarious. And this is great. I think this is 19. When was this published? This was published 1975. 1975 sweet Moses is looking ripped right so 1975 tre treasury edition who's that Who, who's that who's that oh the devil the devil and adam and eve are there right can you see it yeah moses looks like a master wizard <laughs> the sequel to the <laughs> Actually, no, the Bible, uh, the Quran came after the uh, Bible. Okay. Uh, the Muslims uh, follow the, like, uh, what does um, Immortal Techniques quote say? Jesus is the most quoted per, uh, prophet in the Quran. So for most Muslims, except for the fanatic, the Wahhabis and stuff, those are cults, right? Uh, they accept the teachings of Jesus Christ and the Bible and the Old Testament and the New Testament. Okay. That's the Bible for hardcore fans of Jesus. Fathless crossover edition. I still have our VCR set up. You still have your VCR set up, crack. It's great to throw in an old VCR every once in a while. Really? Pirate Bay would be proud. Look at that. Noah and the, Noah and the Flood. So that's cool. I got a couple more treasure editions here. A couple more, three more. Let me put this guy here. Two more treasury edition comics. 
if I was shown this version of the Bible as a kid, I'd be a hardcore Christian right now. <laughs> Spectral shot. Superboy, Legion of Superheroes. Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes. Limited Collector's Edition. Treasury Edition. Right? Cool. On the back. Right? Here's... Gatefold cover. Okay. It's got tape on the inside, so this is in like good condition. It's got all the pages, I'm assuming. He said it had all the pages, but good enough for me, right? Fantastic. Coolio Chicho. Technically, they don't count most printed as most sold. Highest, ah, very good, because they give away a lot of the Bibles for free. Highest selling book of all time is in actual sales is Don Quixote at a whopping 500 million copies. Wow. So, yeah, so I should rephrase. The most printed book of all time would be the Bible. And and I'm, I'd be surprised on that. I'm, I wonder, the Quran would be pretty damn close. There are more Muslims in the world than there are Christians now. So, but Don Quixote, awesome. And here's another treasury edition. Okay. So I do, I do my VHS, NES, the CIA inducing crack harlot. <laughs> I grew up Hong Kong, but I'm from UK. Check this out, Shazam. With one magic word, Shazam! Treasury edition. And this one's got a rip there. So it's, you know, it's whatever condition. Low grade, right? Good. And this thing is, this thing was printed in 1973. Cool, man. 1973. Look at the size of the art. I couldn't even fit this in the camera if we're doing the readings, right? Yeah, but don't forget about the Crusades. They probably put out a lot of Bibles then. Yeah, they probably did. They probably did, Coolio. Here, we'll massacre, massacre your town, and here's some free Bibles for you to read. And then the other way around, too. We'll massacre your towns, and here's some Orans to read, right? Cool. Awesome. And that is my comic book haul for today, gang. <laughs> comic book haul for today. And a great comic book haul it is, really. I thought it was uh, it was a great buy. If you had any more, there was one other comic book I was bidding on to buy, but someone else grabbed it, right? It is what it is. It's okay. Uh, kudos to them. And I think the guy grabbed it for like 350 or something. I just put 250 or something for him and got him for two. So it was great. A reading of that infinite kung fu would be cool, even if it was just a skim through. Yeah, you know what? One of the things, let's check it out. How heavy is this? Yeah, holding this up to the camera, <laughs> it would be difficult. <laughs> But it looks beautiful. Look at this artwork. So styling. So styling. Look at that. Like that's beautiful styling. Yeah, this book looks amazing, gang. Oh, right. Awesome. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Great stuff, Chicho. Always love a co good comic book haul stream. Yeah, there's a couple more coming, gang. There's a couple more coming. Some golden age stuff coming. Okay. And I bought specifically. I bought a 
there's a comic book haul coming that I bought from a person because I wanted this run of things for us to look at. Uh, and I'll show you guys what that is uh, once once it arrives. Okay. Hello, God. I heard another interesting theory about the masks being used uh, to uh, to Muslim Christian countries, but I will mm, politics. Elder God, Bibids uh, The only comic book I'm interested in is Mortal Kombat: Blood and Thunder. Grav gravity of the situation, Chicho. I am taking off, but I enjoyed the stream, and I hope you have a great day. You as well. Uh, Elder God, nice talking to you, brother. Reach out to me on Instagram and I can pop, 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 pop. Cool. Do any of the comic book dealers watch your stream? Um, the comic book store I go to, uh, one, a couple of the people there that uh, work at the comic book store, uh, they've seen a couple of my videos. One of them was like, dude, uh, it was my first showing you my comic book haul, my comic book collection, one of my first videos. He was like, that was awesome, right? And he didn't, uh, he, he, I didn't tell him to watch my stuff. He just found it because he watches that stuff. And the comic book store, store owner's son that works at the comic book store, he's he's watched my content as well and i think he's come on twitch as well and uh they're big twitch people actually so it's pretty cool it's pretty cool gang that's it i hope you enjoyed uh comic book hall is always a good day right always a good day um gang i didn't do an intro i'll do an outro okay thank you for being here thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for the discussions thank you for the information i remember when those comic uh, vids started dropping yeah crack i it was an experiment on my part i just wanted to share what i love right where i talked about comic books i we did six readings and then i showed you my collection and then we did a comic book haul right so i incorporated the whole shebang and we talked about prices a little bit and since then we've done wow we've done yeah yeah the comic comic book stoner gina <laughs> have a great day everyone have a great day everyone gang if you want to follow this work i'm on patreon patreon.com oh, there's a fly kicking around this guy you gotta get rid of him you gotta die <laughs> gang i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o you want to follow this work Patreon is a great way to do so. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike. And if you want to support this work, Patreon is a great way to do so. And thank you for those of you who've been supporting this work through Patreon. I was a younger Chicho back then. I was. I had more black in my goatee. <laughs> we are live streaming on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live. C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. If you want to participate in the chat, in these discussions live, which is where you want to be at and again mods thank you for taking care of business gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the discussion thank you for being here i do announce these unscheduled live streams a few minutes before we go live on lo minds vk parlor gap and twitter you can follow the work there and all the links will be in the description of this video and they're available on our twitch page under chat if you type in exclamation mark social the links will pop up including our discord page i have yet to see uh, any gray <laughs> oh you don't have any gray man oh you want some i'll send you some brother gray gray is good i like gray i don't mind it actually for live streams where we don't have any visuals which we did today on this one anyway where we just do open discussions the audio will be uploaded to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform and this video will be loaded on both bitshoot and youtube and if you want to support this work on bitshoot and youtube you can follow you can subscribe you can turn on notifications for sure uh link share like and if you're on youtube you can join youtube membership and for those of you who join youtube membership thank you very much for the support crack gray is fantastic gray buys respect <laughs> facial hair gets you more respect than without facial hair gray facial hair gets you more respect than black facial hair so if you're looking for respect in the world go gray go facial hair totally dark brown you're totally dark brown 
We need a selfie channel. We need a selfie. Yeah, why not? Hell God, put it uh, put it together. Create a selfie folder for our Discord. That'd be awesome, actually. That'd be crazy. I just know everyone by names. That's it. I have a lot myself. Yeah, me too, and I'm proud of it. I've lived this long. There's a saying in Armenian that says, uh, "Elders would tell will tell younger people this, and the younger people get angry and stuff." But what it means? It means they they hope. That they live a long happy life they say may your hair all go uh white it means i hope your hair goes white which means i hope you live to a ripe old age that your hair does go white so elder god okay i got a lot of fear off people <laughs> rightfully so <laughs> gang thanks for being here don't forget tomorrow mathematics comic book reading uh friday comic book reading saturday julian assange stream monday julian assange stream tuesday bye everyone hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you tomorrow if you can make it